What's up guys, Matt and Blake from the Football Boost team and today we are talking about the latest silo to hit the boot market which also comes with the latest innovation, something we have never seen before and it truly is going to change Football Boost for the rest of time. Now we're going to be talking about the brand new Under Armour Spotlight Pro so let's talk about exactly what it has to offer which no other pair of boots has ever featured before. So the Spotlight Silo has actually been around for a little while now. So Blake, what's the history behind it and who's the headline wearer? So obviously Memphis the Pi is the key wearer for the Speedform and the Spotlight. So the Spotlight is pretty much a renamed Speedform. So the Speedform was what the Pi was wearing when he was at Manchester United. And his first customized boot was an orange and gold one. This was to do with the Dutch colors. So it matched perfectly with the orange Dutch colors. The bit of gold on the sole plate of the Speedform. The second one was the black and gold speed form. This was a very, very nice colorway. Shame about the boot because it had one of the stiffest uppers of any synthetic speed boot I've ever seen. His third signature edition was the Dream Chaser. So white and sky blue, August 2015, silver chrome sole plate, really, really sharp. It was for him making his Premier League debut for Manchester United. And his fourth one was a camo one. So it was a camo one with an orange sole plate. Really unique design. I was a big fan of that. That was September 2015. And his last signature edition was the Speedform Dream Chaser. So this was blue and gold. We actually had a pair in. It was really, really sharp. And this was again for the pie. But now let's get on to the big boots. So guys, as we mentioned, the new Spotlight Pro comes with a brand new piece of technology, which Under Armour are really hoping to change the game forever. But before we get into that feature, there's another one which I absolutely love, and that's because it comes with a carbon fiber sole plate, something which I really adore on full boots. Now, where did that all come from? So it originally came from the Puma V106. Back in 2006, carbon fiber sole plates were the thing. Everyone wanted carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. It was such a premium feature, lightweight and very, very stiff, but overall, very high quality and responsive. Then we saw it on a lot of Vapors. We saw it on yeah. the Vapor 9. We also saw it on the Superfly 4. Before that, on the Superfly 5, they cut carbon fiber out on the Superfly 5 for a much more layered contoured chassis. But overall, carbon fiber sole plates were the thing for at least a decade. From 2006 to 2016, they were a smash of a sole plate. And this carbon fiber sole plate is so much better than that Speedform sole plate we originally saw on the Spotlight and the original Speedform. That was the stiffest sole plate I've ever seen on a football boot. Yes, it did look good with chrome, but it was very, very poor. So the sole plate is actually being called 12K carbon. Now we don't actually know exactly what that means, but carbon fiber on a sole plate is for two main purposes. Firstly, it's incredibly lightweight, and secondly, it's all about responsiveness. And with the Spotlight Pro, we're going to take my new boot. That's exactly what Under Armour have gone for it. And fair play to them because carbon fiber is actually a pretty expensive material, and maybe one of the reasons that Nike actually ditched it from their Mercurial range, just because it is so much more expensive to manufacture. So we've spoken about the sole plate, but let's talk about the actual stuff configuration on it now. And to me, it looks a little bit Nike inspired with the combination of conical and bladed stud. What do you reckon? I mean, with modern day speed boots, stud configurations are very, very important because it's all about traction, agility, and responsiveness. This one has a very unique system. It's got a bladed and conical stud system. So on the heel there, we've got two blades on the very back and two conical studs. So again, that's gonna be quite supportive under your heel there. And onto the forefoot, it's mostly conical with a few bladed studs here and there. A very, very good sole plate and stud system on this Wattlight Pro. So we've just mentioned how the sole plate has carbon fiber, but another part of the boot which looks like it does is the upper, which Under Armour are calling the textured touch, but it's only to make it look like it. Now what's it all about? I mean, if you compare it to like a Mercurial Vapor 11, it's got a very, very smooth forefoot. Now we look at the Spotlight here, it's got a very textured touch, as you said, it's almost crisscrossy, like carbon fiber. It might actually help to assist ball control in wet and dry conditions, who knows? But again, synthetic forefoots is a very, very important thing on modern day football boots and this actually looked like it's much better than the speed form and spotlight upper we saw in the previous generations and spanning to the back of the boot again it looks like a cheap synthetic but it does look very lightweight it merges with that new feature we'll get onto later in the video and again I just think it's quite a cheap material on the back of the boot but overall I think with that carbon fiber texture on that forefoot it does look quite nice with the sole plate. Now recording this video Blake has literally just realized that that front piece of the upper has made him think of another pair of boots released in the past which weren't a speed themed boot but a control themed boot. Now what were they? This was the Kevlar Nitro Charge, so one of the rarest boots of all time. Yeah. But this did have a sort of carbon fiber slash Kevlar 
upper, and the upper on that Kevlar was so, so soft. It was much softer than the general release Nitro Charge 1.0, but hopefully on the Spotlight Pro, this is a very, very soft upper. I'm banking on it does, but again, I do not want a very, very stiff upper we saw on the Spotlight and the speed form. Let's go with a very, very super soft upper on the Spotlight. Let's hope that the Spotlight Pro has improved uppers from previous generations. Now, although the Spotlight Pro is a brand new boot that we're going to see in 2017-18, there is a feature on the boot which reminds me so much of the X15.1 released a couple of years ago. And that's the neoprene material that we actually see on top of the foot, which is almost a stretchy material, which is there for snug and compressive fit. But alongside that on top is the zip. Now, why is there a zip? on this pair of football boots. Now this boot has one of the most unique features I've ever seen. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen it on a football boot. It is the BOA L6 rear, which sounds so complicated, but what it is, is that you just turn it like that and it actually tightens the boot. Yeah. So I guess this would be great for any foot type. If you've got narrow feet, you can tighten it more. If you've got wider feet, you can loosen it more. So it's a very unique system. It works under that zip line, so under the zip, you turn it like that and it compresses the foot. Really, really interesting feature. I would love to try it on a pair of foot boots. But again, the zip, what do you think of this little bobby bit when you strike the ball? Do you think it's going to hurt? But the thing is, because it has got a zip on there, it's obviously going to have a little piece of material which is probably going to be metal as well. So when you do strike it with a power or control it, you're probably going to feel that slight bobble. Now we've seen the pure control completely laceless. Then we saw the pure cast and this pure speed, which had that lace cover. But this time, we are now seeing a zip, which like you, I don't think I've ever seen before. But obviously what's inside is the main feature. And as Blake said, it is that new lacing system. So this time it doesn't actually feature any laces, but that dial. Now it reminds me so much of what you see on Slackless shoes. They put their foot into the shoe and all they do to tighten it is literally twist the dial. And as Blake said, it makes for such a universal fit and boot. So Under Armour actually say that the Boa L6 reel will never loosen during play. So fit is going to be absolutely optimal. But do you actually believe that? I mean, I think it will stay pretty tight during match play. It might loosen a little bit, but again, with that neoprene material, which is very elasticated, once you tighten it, it's not gonna budge. So again, I think the BOA L6 reel is a very unique feature, and I think it will work. But one thing, what will happen if you get some heel studs onto the BOA L6 reel, it might even crack it. It's got a really bad problem. That neoprene upper on top won't be that thick. So again, that L6 reel won't have that much protection from heel studs or anything like that. As well as that, I think the bobble as well, when you strike a ball, you probably will feel it. If you zip it right up to the top, again, I don't think that will be a major problem for the solo. But again, if the L6 reel is cracked, it should be a problem. I think that's probably my biggest problem with it. You were talking about how if you do strike the ball, you're going to feel the reel. And that is one of my biggest issues with concave football boots. Now, I know they've got that piece of material on top of their lacing system to help you strike the ball with a bit more power and actually, but I actually don't like it because you can feel it. I just prefer feeling that second skin, barefoot feel. So for me, that might be one problem, but it's definitely a pair of boots that we are going to try and get in and test and review for you guys. Now Under Armour actually produced some better boots last season, so hopefully these are going to be a good pair again. Now what pair of boots did they release last season, so hopefully these are going to be that same level of quality. So one of the most underrated boots on the market is the Under Armour Clutchfit 3.0 yeah. from the Clutchfit 2.0. That was a very, very poor boot, but the 3.0 is a very, very high quality boot and a very underrated football boot. And hopefully, I'm hoping that the Spotlight Pro is on the same lines as that. It's high quality and it should be very underrated. With the pie, the headline wear, Hopefully, hopefully it should be better than the previous Spotlight and previous Speedform boots. So with Under Armour releasing a new real system, what type of lacing system do you guys actually prefer? Like on most football boots, do you like it laced? Do you like it laced just like on the Pure Control and also new Nemesis? Do you like it with the lace cover of the Pure Speed and also the older Pure Chaos? Or do you like this new real system, the Boa L6 by Under Armour? Vote in the poll card now for your own personal favourite. But what do you think about these new boots by Under Armour? Please let us know in the comment section below. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. Brand new piece of technology and innovation coming out from Under Armour with their Spotlight Pro. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. As always, see you next time.